Around the World in 80 Minutes is a concert that takes you on the tour with some of the world's most famous composers. Joining me now is Mark Gordon, Executive and Artistic Director of the Chamber Music Society of St. Louis. Mark, thank you for joining me. Glad to be here. So you are the Executive and Artistic Director. Tell me, what does your role entail? Well, it's administrative, of course, but the fun part mm -hmm. is programming the concerts and selecting the musicians who are going to play and perform with us. Wow, so you're obviously a musician as well. Correct. What I, do you play? I play oboe and English horn, and I was a member of the St. Louis Symphony for 33 years. Wow. Left in 2005 to found, co-found with my wife, Chamber Music Society of St. Louis. I love that. So it's a family affair. It is. How is that working with your wife? She loves it. She still is a member of the orchestra. She's mm -hmm. a violist in the symphony. So the time challenge is a lot more for her, but... Um, this is full-time for me so what made you want to start your own thing that's a good question uh, years of coming out of the stage door at Powell Hall after a concert and people would come up and say boy the concert was great I love this I love that but I wish there was a place I could hear some traditional chamber music okay. and the symphony used to have a chamber music series but it was uh, ceased a long time ago and after a couple years of hearing this we decided there was a need so we formed it and we thought that it should be in a form that was a little more timely mm -hmm. and so we decided to go with a format that's cabaret style. Oh, okay. So, so it's intimate. Yes, very intimate. Small venue. We're actually, our home is in the Sheldon, but not in the concert hall. It's in the ballroom upstairs. I've been there. Okay, yeah. So our audience sits at a four-top table and they can have a glass of wine or a soft drink and some light snacks while we play. Mm -hmm. What is it about chamber music? Tell me, if nobody's ever experienced it, how could you take them on a tour of what does chamber music do for you? Well, it's a smaller group. So instead of an orchestra of 90 or 100 people, you'll have anywhere from two to probably the most we've had is 14, larger group of 14 on stage. And what the audience loves is that they can feel the music mm -hmm. and they can watch the eyes of the performers and they can see the communication that goes on on stage in a large venue with a couple thousand people, you can't really see that unless you're in the front row. You all are communicating with, through your instruments? With eyes, kind of like nods, uh, smiles. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot of fun. And that's the, that's the big word we like to use, fun, both for the musicians on the stage and the audience in front of it. And you have a concert that's coming up? We do, uh, March 14th and 15th. We do our concerts in pairs. The audience has grown over our seven years of existence. Mm -hmm. And so we had to go to two performances. Otherwise, we'd either have to look for a larger venue or cram too many people in a small space. <laughs> so we'll do uh, Monday and Tuesday in the Sheldon Ballroom on the 13th and 14th. I love that. How long does it take you to prepare for such a concert? Well, these musicians are among the best in the world. Most of us are our colleagues from the St. Louis Symphony. Mm -hmm. So it's a quick, quick learn. And um, this is a really important thing to musicians because chamber music makes you a better orchestra player. How so? You have to listen more. You have more control over the final product. If there's four people, instead of a conductor standing up and telling you how they want things, you have a say in how you would like to phrase, tempos, just general interpretation. That's very, very interesting. You don't really, as a consumer of music, you don't really understand or know everything that goes into it. That's, that, that is interesting, and I think one of the reasons for our success has been this intimacy, so people see what goes on. You can feel what's going on musically, and then we have what we call a meet and greet after every I performance. I love that, yeah. So you have a chance to talk to the musicians about the instruments. Every once in a while, we'll have a more unusual instrument, like a harpsichord or a clavichord, and uh, a harp, even. People don't get to see a harp up close, so there's a lot of interest in coming up on the stage and asking questions about the instrument. So, Mark, stay with us because we're going to get more into Around the World in 80 days. Minutes. 80 minutes. <laughs> That's right. You don't have 80 days for the concert. Too long a concert. <laughs> Too long a concert, right. We'll have more with the Chamber Music Society of St. Louis after this. Stay with us.